so in this video we are going to continue designing our e-commerce application so I'll open Figma okay so once it is fired up we will continue so in this uh, video we are going to make the details screen means if we click on any of the items over here or on these items we should be able to see our description page okay so let's start we know how to copy we click on shift option and then drag and we get a new one okay now i i don't need these things okay so I'll select them all and remove them I will keep the bottom navigation bar because that is how I plan to proceed so let's change its color okay so I'm gonna give this color so you will see that in the entire project I'm gonna use only this palette okay because it will provide uh, more uniformity to a uh, to our application okay so now I need to have a back icon over here so for that I'll open our material outlines okay I'll add a link to this as well in the description okay so once it is opened if you go in the navigation section you can see all the icons so I'll select this one then command C to copy if you are on Windows then control C and then simply I'll paste it over here now in that that everything is inside a frame means uh, by frame I refer to this uh, purple boundary that it has if you double click on it it will go inside the frame and select the actual item I'll remove it away from the frame okay and then uh, finally I'll delete this frame okay now I want this to be white in color so here it is now I want it uh, over here okay nice so next I want the item that is uh, clicked uh, to be displayed here means the name okay so I'll create a new text view or you can you see how convenient this is to copy from a previous one okay now I will change its color to white and then this will be broccoli okay uh, now this should be in the center so I'll bring it over here now to make it in the center I'll simply click on this and it will be in the center now I just need to match these two so I'll shift it a little bit upwards and then these two are on the same line now okay so now let's proceed I'll add a square over here now if you don't uh, there are two options to create a square I'll click on this and then drag and create a square simple or I can simply click and get the square and then edit it to the desired shape I want okay so I try I did the second one I want it till here I'm sorry it should it should uh, touch the bottom navigation bar okay and at top it should be till here okay this seems fine now I'll add a border to it only on the top so you know we can add a, a individual border radius so for this corner I'll again make it 15 and for this corner as well I'll make it 15 now I want it to have a white color I'll do that okay, and with this we are ready now let's see how it looks I'll start the preview okay so this is the first screen only now let's uh, navigate from here to this screen from this screen to this screen which in designers term is called prototyping okay so over here this is design and then you have the prototype section okay now what you need to do is you simply need to go and select this the circle uh, not the image but the circle circle would do better the inner circle to be more specific okay 
now in this uh, once this circle is selected you can see a big dot a bold dot over here so all you need to do is click on that and then drag it to the screen where you want it to navigate on click okay and then over here you have different options on how to animate the transition from this screen to this screen like move in move out for now i'll let it be in instant you can try the other things on your own okay so with this uh, now uh, i'll go back to design so now over here if i click on broccoli i am taken to the taken to the next screen okay so the prototyping worked okay now let's add a big image of broccoli so again uh, create a new one put it inside the screen okay so the image uh, size auto is perfect in itself okay this looks decent enough now let's add the price so i'll i'll select this one and again bring it over here over here as you as i disc as we discussed in one of the previous videos that all our things will be beyond this uh, first uh, reddish line okay so now over here i'll add a price let's say 200 rupees per kg okay so this is our price i'll i'll push it little bit downwards okay now you can see that uh, this uh, square is getting selected every time i come here but i don't want that i don't want uh, this square to get selected sorry not a square this rectangle to get selected so what i can do is i'll simply come over here and click on this lock icon so once uh, we have locked this now you see if i hover over here it is not getting selected and if i remove this then if i over ho hover over here then it will be able to be selected okay so for now we don't need that so i'll lock it okay now let's add a description of the product so again create a new one bring it over here okay i want it to be till here okay now let's edit okay so i'll copy it paste it once again so we have a long text now let's change the color color will be green okay and let's see if 10 works maybe i'll increase its size a little bit okay 12 seems fine now i don't need this much of a description okay when we make the app we will uh, limit the user to add uh only a certain number of characters in description okay so this is done so this is our, how our screen looks until now now we need to add an option to buy now or add it to cart and then order multiple things together so let's do that as well i'm going to add a square box again now let's say okay this size seems fine okay i'm gonna give it a our again the primary color and i am gonna add a border radius of 5 on all the sides okay so that its uh, corners are smooth and okay now i'll again add this text over here i need to bring it to the front okay once done i'll change its color to white and then the text will be saying by now okay now i don't need it to be medium i'll make it light uh, reduce the size to 15 15 seems fine now i'll make it uh, align all the things uh, horizontally and vertically okay so now once this is done i'll select bo Uh, select the button and create a new one okay and then again uh, to uh, in this one i'll add a stroke the stroke will be of width uh, 1.5 where stroke is nothing but the border i'll give it our primary color 
okay uh, remove the fill color and then uh, I'll select the text and make it our primary color and this text will say add to cart okay now again these things need to be in the center so I'll align it okay so this is how it looks I think we need a little bit more white space from the bottom navigation bar so I'm gonna push it a little bit upwards so select it and then click on the up arrow okay so now this looks better now over here we are gonna display the sellers information so for that I am gonna select the design of a review over here okay and over here we'll basically have a sellers description or review something about the seller let's we'll decide that later once we develop we'll see which one is more convenient at that point okay so beside the name there should be seller written on it okay so that the people understand i'll i'll reduce i'm sorry i'll reduce its rating from four star to three star okay let's see and then I'll add its address over here. Let's say L Road SNP area Bistapur Jamshedpur. So this is uh, the market in Jamshedpur. Okay, so now I'll make it from light, I'll change it to, to medium to make it more significant as compared uh, to the text that we have over here okay which we will decide later is gonna be the is gonna be related to the seller or a review about the seller okay so we can decide that later once we reach the point to do so and with this this screen is done as well okay so this screen also looks pretty decent okay this will be the description of our products okay so now for practice i suggest you create for all the other items as well in the next video we will start with the backend make these two screen uh, make the prepare the backend required for these two screens make the front end that is our flutter application for these two screens and then we shall again start with figma so thank you